All right, guys, we're down here on some rocks. Uh, we're gonna run the Capra, but I've got the plastic wheels and Baja Boss tires from uh, Axial CJ7. I put them on it. We're gonna just kind of see how that does, see if these are any good. Um, I do run this on 3S. There we go. All right, guys, so we start out fairly decent here. And this line just isn't too tricky, really. Um, nothing real vertical except for maybe this part coming up here. But otherwise, a uh, pretty straightforward line, really. Here's where things uh, kind of start getting ugly. So, again, you gotta you gotta pick your tire placement, but I think the uh, differential covers that I have on here kind of hurt the truck. Uh, obviously, reduces ground clearance at the pumpkin. So, so that's an issue, and I think. I don't even think this the Capra in stock form like this has way too much wheel speed and not enough low end control so I guess my question is what are you guys running for electronics in this thing I've heard the fusion se 540 doesn't quite fit I don't know if that's accurate but I want a motor ESC, whether it's a combo or a new motor ESC, something that'll give me some low-end control where this thing can just run nice and slow when I need it to, but still have wheel speed uh, if I need that also. And here I'm instantly hung up again. These tires from the CJ7, I am, I'm not a fan of, really. Maybe they would benefit from some beadlock wheels, something with some weight to them. Uh, this thing's just too light, and I cannot get the tires to, to hook up, really. See, right here, with some weight and some low-end speed, I feel like it should have it been able to go up that. I don't think I'm asking too much of this on any of these lines, to be honest. Just in its current form, it can't. 
you can't do it. So now, I didn't even bother with trying to get up on the obstacle. I just set it, set the Capra up on the rocks and kind of chose a line from there. And obviously we're, we're not going to make that. That's just, that's poor driving. I won't blame the truck on that. It is a windy day. Uh, you guys probably can hear the wind. I tried to tone the original audio down a little bit to take some of that away. I don't know if it's if it helped or not, but in reverse is just wild. Uh, even trying to turn that down. Uh, the electronics again, I just don't think are great in this truck. This is another spot where those differential covers I have on there are hanging up on the rocks. Here we kind of showcase wheel speed and how just kind of out of control this Capra can be. Here we get into a dirt hill. Uh, there is a little moisture content once you get through the top layer of the dirt. But, I mean, this should just climb this. This is why I can't, in my opinion, I can't recommend these tires, even as like a trail tire. Um, I don't zoom in here. I kind of wish I did. But you can see that these tire lugs are just filling with that dirt. And then... You just lose traction after that. They don't, the gaps between the sipes and the lugs uh, aren't enough to get a good clean out. So you're not, you're not getting rid of any of that dirt. And it, it just fills the lug pattern. And then the next thing you know, you, it seems like you're driving on a slick. And then trying to turn out of things, uh, it just can't. It's just not pulling the front end. It's just, it's like it's trying to push the front end like a plow at full steer. And there again, the lugs are just filling with dirt. And you're just losing, losing traction the whole time. This will really kind of showcase the electronics issue again that I'm talking about. You can't. There's just no low-end control. I mean, you try to go slow, but then as soon as it 
finds itself in a bind, it doesn't continue forward momentum, then you've got to squeeze the trigger a little harder, and then it's just jerky. Again, the, the pumpkins are hanging up on the rocks. Uh, not enough weight. Uh, there's, there's compounding issues here. This is back at that original uh, line, the very first line I did in this video, which is is doable. Um, not too bad. We made it then, and we make it here again. holding the gimbal in one hand and driving one-handed. Again, this is this is where really low-end control and some nice electronics would really help out, I think. So again, we're we're gonna make this climb. Um, it wasn't it wasn't smooth, but I just want to know what are you guys running in your Capras? Uh, what kind of electronics do you got? Motor, ESC, brushless, brushed. What are you using for wheels and tires? I need to slow this thing down, get it under control, and just turn it into a nice a nice capable crawler because I know it can be. It just needs the right add-ons. So thanks for watching. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys are running.